Hi everyone! Um, today in this clip, I will be sharing with you some of the drills I use to help with my splits, okay, with my side splits, my middle splits, my front split, and back splits, okay. Um, I like to utilize sometimes uh, props and in this clip, I will be showing you my drills that I'm using a flex band, okay. so. I will also highlight how I use the flex band uh, and how I tie the flex band. Okay, so just like any other clips, if you have any conditions with your hip joints or your spine conditions, please consult your doctors before you begin this exercise. Guys, today I will be sharing with you how I use these flex bands to help with my splits, whether it's side splits back splits or front splits okay I like to use a little bit of resistance to help with tracking of the legs inside the hip joints actually after after you have used this with your drills that I will show you later you will feel like you have created a little bit of more space in your hip joint okay in your acetabulum okay um, I'm using here um, is um, elastic band or flex band from Mary Hugh it has a little bit of resistance so it's not too light nor too heavy you should have a little bit of traction so you can feel that you work against uh, resistance of the band okay the way I tied it is I'm using um, one leg of a dining table okay and I try to find a height that is about my hip level okay then from there I root loop around the leg and I insert one side of the band into it so then that creates a knot okay so that should be a good way of um, tying a band so I make sure that the height is not too low nor too high slightly higher is okay but you don't want it to be too low once I tie the loop I put one end of the band inside the, the leg that is closer to the band okay pull the band all the way up to to where the top of the thigh is okay then place your knee down on the floor so you should make sure that the knee or the leg is not too close to the leg of the chair so that it won't be too light nor too far away so it will be too hard okay and make sure that your hips in line with the um, the band okay it should be completely straight and I make sure that my knee right underneath my hip and then my right foot in front of my hips so my right leg is in external rotation make sure your hip bones are level and facing straight my pelvis is in neutral okay so I'm thinking about length and tall as I inhale exhale I squeeze my butt to make sure that I keep my pelvis on top of the leg and as I lunge to the right I resist the band so my thighs is going down towards the floor sideways as I resist the band and when I return I make sure that I slowly release the tension come back to start position I go again exhale I'm using my inner thighs to press against the band and I, as I'm lengthening my outer thigh here and then I'm using eccentric control to return okay so you should feel attraction so the band is pulling the leg and then the leg is pressing against the band so hopefully this will help create more space in your joint lubricating your joint okay so I usually do this about 8 to 10 repetition every single time as I do it I do it mindfully use my breath engage my pelvic floor my lower abs deep abdominal muscles maintain my pelvis in neutral upper body upright as I do this and as, as I return, I slowly resist as I come back. One again, one more time. Exhale. When I resist, I feel like although the band is bringing me back, but I feel like I don't want to go back. So resist it. Okay. And as I lunge, I want also feeling that I'm pulling my right heel in towards my pelvis and reaching my thigh bone out. So you always want to work in oppositional length so that will create a full body integration okay one last repetition here you're going to stay option 
to stay here and do pelvis rock. So you're going to slightly arch and then come back to neutral, squeeze the butt. Or you can think about arching and curling of your lower back. Or you think about pelvis release. Okay. So if your knee is not comfortable here, I forgot to mention, you might add more cushion on the knee. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit more comfortable here. So stay here for a few times. Then you can do circle of your pelvis, draw clock face. Okay, once you have enough, release to come back. I feel like I've I worked a lot on my thighs here on my left leg. Okay, don't forget to repeat the other side. And now we will be using the flex band for the front part of your thighs, okay, your hip flexors and your quads, okay. So I'm putting my leg inside the flex band again, okay. Make sure it comes all the way up to the top, top of the thigh. Make sure your leg is directly in front. Move forward enough that you have enough resistance, not too hard, not too light. Your body knows the best. Okay, then bring right leg forward. Make sure your hip bones facing straight, pelvis neutral. I already have a little bit of tension before I begin. Okay, from here, I'm just doing pelvis rock again. Okay, so right now I'm in neutral pelvis and I'm thinking about arching my lower back to release the tension. And then from there, I want you to think about tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your butt. So you intensify the lengthening of your quad stretch. And then the band is pulling against uh, your leg as you leg, as you tuck your pelvis, you feel like you wanna drive your left knee forward and your band is pulling your thigh back into the socket. Release back. We go again, exhale. Tummy pull in, think about pubic bone up towards the chest. Tailbone tucking under. Just maybe exaggerate a little bit so you feel the sensation. Think about you drive the knee forward and then pulling the leg into the band and then release. So we do this a few more times. Exhale, tuck. As you tuck, also think about lengthen through crown of your head so you do not want to compress into the spine. Think about lengthen your lower back down and under as you lengthen your quads here. And then one last one, exhale. Now maintain this slight posteriorly tilt. Move your front leg forward slightly. Maintain this posteriorly tilt. Try to lower the thigh down towards the floor. Resist the resistance of the band. And then as you return, control the pulling of the band to return back up. We go again, exhale, think about tuck the pelvis, press against the band, lower the thigh down towards the floor. My whole body is engaged, tummy pull in, squeeze the butt down, and then slowly resist the band as you return. Again, and exhale, tuck, and crown head reaching tall. You notice my shoulders stay on top of my hips. I'm not leaning forward. If you lean forward, you're going to lose that tucking of the pelvis in case you want to try to keep your shoulders on top here. It doesn't have to be low, but I want you to maintain that sensation. Notice your right leg, your front leg have to also work very hard to maintain your balance. And also, same as your previous exercise, think about drawing your heel in, right heel in towards your hips to engage your inner thighs. Release. Let's do two more times and exhale. So the more reps you go, you should feel a little bit more space in the hip joint. Maybe one day your thigh might be all the way down towards the floor, who knows. Exhale. Pull your tummy in. Use your butt. And then one last one. Exhale. So the last repetition, you can stay here for a bit. Enjoy the stretch. You know, just move around. Relax the shoulders, and when you have enough, slowly release and return. Now I will be um, demoing how to use the flex band to facilitate the front splits. Okay, I put a flex band around one of my legs. I bring it all the way up to the top of my thigh. 
So this is my left leg. My left leg is going to be in front. Okay. So my right knee is on the floor. If you have a sensitive kneecap, you can use a little bit of pad underneath your knee. Okay. Your right knee right underneath your right hip left leg straight ahead in front your hand just framing outside your left leg so i want you to make sure that your pelvis is, is straight meaning your hip bones pointing down towards the floor to make sure that you are not uh, letting your left hip rotate in front or sitting too far behind your hips okay and try your best to keep your back straight oftentimes we tend to want to go down towards the floor so we keep our back round so that defeats the whole purpose of trying to do a split um, with a knight straight back and eventually we're going to go into back bend in your split so you want to try to maintain this neutral spine okay so it's better off that you utilize blocks okay so then you can put your hands on the blocks and lengthen your spine so this is a much better position than being down here and you round your back okay so i'm going to demo using these blocks okay so i have my hands on a block i try to keep my spine as straight as possible or neutral spine as possible okay sometimes i like to exaggerate a little bit open the chest up from here i make sure i have a little bit of resistance here pulling my leg back into the socket so i might want to move a little bit forward to feel a little bit more resistant from here i'm gonna stay inhale i'm thinking about lengthen my butt cheek up towards the ceiling so this sensation up so you're gonna feel back of the top leg lengthening maybe a little bit of a sensation of a lengthening and stretching and then exhale i tuck it back down to release so you notice the rest of my spine stays still i'm just you moving my pelvis back and forth like we do pelvis rock so if i'm going to demonstrate in my bend knee so when i inhale i'm doing this with my pelvis so you're going to feel stretch back of the leg and exhale i release it back down okay so as you do this, it's not a big movement. You will feel the stretch in the back of the leg, left leg or front leg. Just enjoy that sensation of lengthening. At the same time, I want you to fully engage top of the legs. Okay, press top of the foot down. A few more times here. So your flex band is going to help pulling the leg back into the socket, create space here inside the socket. You're going to try here with point toes or you can do with flex toes or ankles. Sometimes when you flex your ankles, you might feel more lower in your leg, your calf, for example, if you have very tight calf. So it's not good or bad. It's just do it differently a few times. Okay. You can also turn your leg out and then do the same things. You might feel a little bit of stretching in a different part of your hamstrings. Okay, your hamstring groups have three different muscles okay so you have one on the outside in the center or the inside of the leg so you want to feel different stretch and different part of the hamstring muscles you can even move your body to the side and then rock your pelvis side to side the same way so enjoy it enjoy the feeling so if you feel that you're ready to go a little bit deeper you can come back Maybe this time, see whether you can have your hands on the floor. Same thing, still thinking about lengthening your spine, crown of your head away from your tailbone. Once we have enough of this, we can try to slide the leg forward. Okay, hold here. You can use your block and do pelvis rock here a few times. The whole time front part of my leg is active i'm not letting my legs dangling it's really active almost as if i want to step the foot down on the mat okay then when you feel that it's good enough slide a little bit more forward and then do a few more pelvis rock here should be very intense here you can walk your hands closer to your hips 
Try to keep your body, your shoulders on top of the hips as much as you can. When you feel that this is quite ready, maybe slide down. Always hold slide a little bit down towards the floor. It doesn't matter whether you touch the floor. I want you to feel like you can have the same integrity like you did in your warm up. Okay, think about rocking your pelvis still, although at this level when you are very close to the ground you may not see the pelvis move very much but i want you to keep that sensation and without knowing it your pelvis is going to go down to the floor so this band is helping pulling the hip back or rather pulling the legs back into the socket even if you're on the floor you can flex or point and see whether you can do pelvis rock here on the floor. Okay, tummy away, pull in and up. Crowd your head, reaching tall. So this back leg should already be warmed up after your second exercise. Okay, and see whether you can walk your hand closer to your hips. Try to lengthen up so your shoulders right on top of the hip. Thank you for watching. And I hope you like my exercises. If you have any feedback, please let me know. I would love to hear from you all. Thank you.